All right, what's up everyone? Chess Bird here with another uh, 100 days of chess video. Today is day three of our challenge and we are gonna get right into the tactics training here. Uh, I'm not sure why it's showing an X here. That must've been one of my unrated puzzles I did. Um, but yeah, so we are 39, we've done 39 puzzles over two days and we've gotten all 39 correct. We've done an hour of training, so right at that 30 minutes per day, which is the goal. And so we're just gonna jump into it. If you don't already know, we're doing 100 days of chess challenge where we spend 30 minutes a day doing uh, tactics and then posting it to YouTube and then tweeting it on Twitter using the hashtag 100 days of chess. Um, so if you wanna join the challenge, that's what to do and the description of what to do, or the blog will be in the description of the video down below. So let's go ahead and get this going. We're gonna start our timer and then we're gonna jump right over to our tactics here and start that. All right, so this is the end game puzzle. These are gonna be always very tricky to, to calculate because there are several lines to look at here. The bishop should be able to corral this knight. I mean, the two squares that the knight can go to are three, four, are pretty obvious here. My first move instinctively that I want to play is bishop f5 check. King has to go to either f7, g7, or h6. h6 would be bad because of g5. Although that's probably just a draw if we go here. What if I check first with the pawn? But then the king steps up, and I don't, I don't think there's you're gonna make any progress that way either. What if we go bishop e6? Bishop e6. Oh, I think this first puzzle is gonna do me in here. Let's see. I go bishop f5 check. And we and let's just say it goes to king f7. And then we'll play king f. Now you might want to play king up. I don't think. I mean, we should be winning, right? We're up two pawns. And we have the bishop. There should be a way to win this. The problem with me in these in-game challenges is, this, is that there's always, there always seems to be like, just too much going on. Like there's too many options for Black's King, and I'm not sure what the right, what the correct route would be for this. We should have five and. And 
Yeah, now I, I mean, I'm just completely, completely lost for what to do. What, what the plan is. Maybe H5 and, and just continue to push these pawns down. Like maybe that's, maybe that's the plan. The knight could give itself up for this pawn and draw. I think. To me, that's the point: is that we don't we don't let the knight sacrifice itself for this pawn and create a draw draw in game because this pawn and that square are well queen on a square that this bishop cannot control. And so if the knight gave itself up, then it, it wasn't going to work, so. Alright, so we got that one right. Moving on. Queen looks awfully trapped. Rook G, Rook B8. And I do not see a safe square for that, for this queen. Rook B8, I guess I have to look for like a Rook coming to C1, but I could just, I could even take that. Or actually, I just take the queen, yeah. Take the queen, they take my queen, and I take back. So that looks good. Can I anticipate the knight coming in there? Um, it doesn't change that I can just take the queen, so. All right. Two for two. Bishop G5. And the queen cannot guard that knight any longer. Bishop G5 looks good. Looks like we're going to win the knight there. Just seeing if there's any other, any other moves that we have. But I don't think so. Bishop G5 just looks strong. Yeah, and we just you get a free piece. So I'm not sure what that was. Something fell. My threatening checkmate here. Is there a way to stop the checkmate? I guess queen comes up. The knight could go back to f5, but then rook takes f5. Queen here, queen takes uh, e4. Queen takes e4. That looks good. Yeah, all of those, all of that looks good. So just queen f3 looks like the move here. Is we're, we are going to win something. Looking at this geometry of this. I 
I were to check. McQueen blocks. Actually, you know what? I can check on A8. And when the king steps up, I take the pawn with check and I'll win the rook. So I get the pawn and the rook with this. Just want to make sure there's nothing else going on. Yep. And now you take the rook. Nice. Moving on. Uh, queen h4 check just immediately pops out because the pawn was pinned to the king. So queen h4 check. The king backs up and then we check. The king moves over. I think we check again. And then we checkmate. Looks good. There we go. We are on a roll. I just take the bishop. Is that a move? I can just take the bishop. Just looking for any stronger moves, but that looks that looks right. Just take the bishop. If the pawn takes, then we're gonna take the queen. So rook takes f4. The move I'm looking at though is rook takes d4. I guess that doesn't matter. I can just play bishop takes d4, knight takes d4, rook takes d4. Yeah. All right, nice. I was, uh, we might break. We might break a thousand in this session. This rook d7 check. The king moves back anywhere. Black's gonna end up getting checkmated. There's no way for black to block. Yeah, check here. I can take the bishop and then play knight fork. So queen takes queen takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c7, check. Just looks absolutely winning, right? I'm up material at that point. I'm up a piece. And I'm gonna get a rook. So that looks good. Or no, I'll get the queen, I'm sorry. Not the rook. The queen. There's a checkmate here. I feel it. I feel it. Knight h4 check, king to um, h5, and then bishop e2 checkmate. Oh no, the king can come back this way. Oh, I guess if the king, all right, so knight h4, if king f7, we take the bishop with check. So that's winning. Ooh, what if I just play knight f4 check? That looks like checkmate right away. And I almost missed that. I almost went for this line, but yeah, knight, knight f4 check. It's actually checkmate. The bishop guards these squares, that bishop will guard that square. This knight will guard h4, which is the king only has two squares to go to. And this move covers that square and the bishop will cover that square. So there's one of those where you just need to take your time sometimes and you'll find the right answer. Don't be afraid of moving just a tad bit slower sometimes. Um, 
this feels like it should be queen f6. Queen f6 and then your queen's gonna come into g5 with checkmate. Queen f6. Because I, I don't see a way for I don't see a way for black to stop it. Queen f6. Even if even if Oh, but there is a there is a sneaky line here. If queen f6, queen g1 check is going to be really annoying there. Because if king takes, oh no, queen f6 will, will prevent that. Queen f6, queen g1, king takes g1, a1, check, check, and then queen takes a1. So that actually does look good. Nice, that's a desperado tactic, so it's always good. If you feel like you're winning, always look for those ideas where your opponent can sacrifice a piece or for yourself to get out something. Look where you can sacrifice a piece to make your opponent's life a little more miserable. Um, nice. I like that one. Quite a bit there. If I go king f4, rook takes, pawn takes, king over, push. The king, the king can't, okay, so he can't take the rook. So do I just push the pawn then? Or do I play king f4 keeping his king out of the game? Pawn as well. On push. On push. Rook takes queen. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna push the pawn. Now I can just play rook, rook h8.
Bishop takes, Rook takes, push the pawn. Rook here, we check first. Then we check, we can take the pawn, Lara King, and escape square. I think that just works. And then we're up a piece. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe actually I can take this. I can take the bishop. And that looks winning. I wonder if there's something else. Queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes. I'm up a piece. And that is pretty good. Swear, I wonder if there's anything stronger. I don't think there's anything stronger here. Because I can't take the knight right away, can I? Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes. I have two pieces for the queen. I don't think that's enough. But just winning the bishop outright just looks good. I can't imagine I'm uh, missing any. Oh, wait, I don't win the. Wait, queen takes b7. If queen takes c4, we'll play rook takes. We'll play rook takes d8, e8, rook takes e8, and then we have bishop to d5. So the queen. Yep. So we have to play here to check what. Oh my goodness, I thought, I thought, I thought it went down my line. Oh my god, just take the queen. I got really stuck on the queen taking here. Oh, I knew, I knew not to take that. Oh, that makes me sad now. All right, but I have bishop b4. I do not see a way out of this for white. I even solved that puzzle. Oh, that's so bad. All right, rook takes c6, queen takes, knight takes. Rook takes, knight takes, rook takes c6, then knight takes d5. And we have pawn takes d5, guarding our rook. Otherwise, we get the queen. Knight takes f7. So king takes, we're playing queen takes. Is that going to be a checkmate though?
Alright, let's see if there's anything better than Knight takes h8. I don't think there is. Just take the rook. All right, I think we play check here first so that the king moves away and then we can take the bishop. G4, king moves and then we can take the bishop. If we take the bishop now, then king takes e6. Four minutes to go. I want to play C5. See if I work. Or should I just take on H six? C5, rook C4. Then you play C4, play interference, play an interference move. Two minutes left. Play nice C four, hitting the queen. And the bishop. Winning the bishop. That bishop looks trapped here. And if after pawn moves to c4, if white plays d5, we have knight e5. Or we just take the bishop. One minute left. to check King F1. King F1 and Bishop H3. Oh wait, I can't do Bishop H3 yet. Let's 
Oh, queen h2, king f1, knight e3, queen takes e3. Only move, and then bishop h3 check. Rook blocks, and then queen takes. We'll leave the checkmate. This looks like it'll be the last puzzle. There we go. All right, finished on a good note. Other than that one where we had the answer right, we just made the wrong move because we made an oversight in our in our moves. We did we did well. We moved up quite a bit in our rating again. Again, I don't not quite sure how many we got through here, but um, another successful day, another thirty minutes of tactics. Join the one hundred days of chess challenge. Make sure if you do join, make sure you're tweeting out on Twitter using hashtag, hashtag 100 days of chess. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you'll stay up to date for all the new videos in this series. And then we'll move on to something else. So once I finish this series, we'll move on to another something else. Um, but we still have ways to go. 97 more days. But three days down. Thanks for watching. Chess Nerd Bird. Till next time, I'll see you on the next stream.